Alright guys, how's it going? Another quick tutorial regarding armatures, specifically auto assigning a weight map so our mesh deforms with our bones. So I have this basic geometry, dead easy stuff, what I'm going to do is I'll jump into front of the graphic, I'll add in an armature, let's just move the root bone to the left, I'll jump into edit mode, I'll bring the head down to zero, so let me just jump into wireframe so we can get a better view. So I'll bring the head on the Z down to zero. So I'll start it here. I'll then extrude by pressing E. Finish it up here, make sure it's on the zero. And I'll do one last bone. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to select the middle bone. And I've already covered how to subdivide. So if you go to armature, we can come up to subdivide. And we can actually put the number of cuts up. So something like that, nothing extravagant. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to jump into object mode, I'll press Z, go into solid. So in order to assign a weight map, it's pretty easy. Select the object, hold shift, select your bones. Now you can use the shortcut, control and P. And you'll see it here, armature with automatic weights. Now for some reason, if your shortcut's not working, you can go to object, parent, armature deform with automatic weights and just click it. Now how can we check this? Well let's select our object, let's go into weight paint, and in the vertex group here on the right, we can actually check the weights. So if we jump into pose mode by selecting the bones, go to pose, I'll press Z so we can see what we're doing, let's just select the bone. You'll see that our geometry will now deform with a rig, and that's how you assign auto weight maps. Keep in mind, you can always adjust the weight map by just simply jumping into the vertex group. So if you're not getting a deformation correct, it's probably due to that. So hopefully that'll help a few guys out. Do me a favour, like the video, subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. Peace.